It no. happened! No. I got my first ever washi tape. Hello, loves! Today's video is an exciting one because we will be going over my cottage core products and my first ever washi tape. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Yes, you heard that right. I ended up designing some washi tape for the first time and a lot of the footage from this video will be from a couple of months ago when that happened and kind of my response when I actually received it. So if you're excited, get excited. I have so much footage that I just have not used and I'm trying to use it and kind of share all of the cool things that I've recorded, which is why we're gonna be doing all of this like Patreon cottage core shop products slash washi tape unboxing. I think it'll be fun. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Let me stop blabbing and let's get to prepping some Patreon rewards and unboxing some washi tape. Okay, okay, okay. It is time for the voiceover. In last week's video, I skipped voiceovers and jumped directly into some fancy music and I'm still not sure how I feel about it. So let me know what you prefer, voiceovers or sweet, sweet music overs <laughs> Anyway, um, so this part is pretty straightforward. I was basically prepping the June Patreon rewards, or at least I think these were June rewards, but yeah, I was getting everything ready to be packaged and shipped, filling out the tier slips and organizing all of the physical reward goodies that were all ready to go, all of that. I think I uploaded a studio vlog of me printing a lot of these rewards, so if you're interested in seeing that, I'll have a link in the description if it exists, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure it does. I definitely took some um, footage of it and I think it actually made it onto the channel already. But now I will say, un unfortunately at this stage, I was still missing one key piece, which I'm sure you imagine is the washi tape. So uh, since my Patreon rewards are currently just flat mail, I wasn't going to actually be able to mail out full rolls of washi tape, but I thought it would be nice to include some little like sample sheets of them so that my patrons could play around with. And you'll see that a little bit later. Uh, but sadly, there were some delays with the washi tape and just when I was about to give up on getting them in time to include them for my patrons, uh, well, they arrived. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, so we get two extra. It happened! I got my first ever washi tape that with my designs on it. So these are uh, custom washi tapes with my designs. I just opened them up. I haven't busted out an individual one yet to actually see what it looks like on paper. The colors are a little bit off, but that ended up happening in the proofing stage and I didn't realize it, unfortunately. They ended up adjusting the colors so that they would be closer to the design that I made, but they didn't adjust adjust them equally. So, you know, they're supposed to be the same color scheme. And as you can see, this one is a little bit brighter. Now it looks even brighter because this part here doesn't have any other color behind it versus this one has the actual shape behind it. Since washi tape is slightly transparent, so you're also picking up the colors of the layers behind it. Okay, so I finally get my first ever custom washi tape and surprise, surprise, they aren't perfect. But quick story time, when the manufacturer or the middleman in this scenario ended up receiving the washi tape at their office, they took a quick picture of it and sent it to me. And I was 
mortified when I saw the pictures. The colors were so off. Everything looked really bad. The differences in the two types of washi tape was so glaringly obvious. It looks super neon, which I'm not a fan of neon colors. Personally, I like things more uh, subdued and muted and, you know, like all of these tertiary colors and stuff like that. So uh, it was terrified and I like didn't know how to respond I was kind of all like oh no like the colors don't look right and the the manufacturer that I like the middleman that I was using assured me that you know they used their phone and the lighting messed everything up and it'll look different in person and so I was holding back a little like mental depressive breakdown because I had spent so much money on this and I really wanted to start doing washi tapes more for my shop in general and I was really excited about it and if the pictures that I had seen were what they actually looked like, I was gonna be so disappointed. So I tried my best to just, you know, hold it in and wait until I received them. But fortunately, I was wrong. They did not look nearly as bad as the photo that they had sent me. And instead, they were actually pretty close on. Now, although they aren't the same color, this one's slightly brighter, they still match with the overall collection and they still look good together. They still end up working out really nice. They do have that washi tape line that happens when the plating overlaps slightly, which is kind of a bummer, but apparently it's to be expected in pretty much all washi tapes. I think there are some designs where it's less noticeable, but yeah, overall they turned out really well and I'm really proud to finally have my own washi tape. Now I didn't get the like cover stickers for them, so currently they are just kind of plain. I'm still pretty happy with them. I think next time I might try and do a cover design. Right now they're up in the shop as is, so if you're interested in getting some washi tape, you can check that out. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, oh my goodness. I cannot believe I finally have washi tape as part of my online goodies. And I also have a bunch of other cool stuff that I added with this collection. I will say this is probably a good time to mention that I have updated my shipping on my website. I lowered some of the prices of stickers to try and make them more affordable and then I also made a kind of standard shipping option where all letter mail type goodies can be mailed as non-tracked letter mail which makes it a lot more affordable for domestic and international. So if you're interested in getting some goodies and helping to support the shop and the YouTubes and all of that but don't want to spend an arm and a leg on shipping, stick to some of the flat designs like bookmarks, 5x7s and 4x6 prints, and then all of the sticker sheets and the stickers uh, should work as well. And then if you hit a certain threshold, you'll get free tracked shipping automatically. If you want to get all of the goods, just do a, a larger order. It's $35 for domestic and $65 for international. If you'd like to get that, that's currently how things are. And now I think I've been rambling long enough. So uh, let's get back to the washi tape sampling Patreon prep stuff from previously. <laughs> Okay, so I got my little washi samples ready as you can see this one's more green than it's supposed to be This one's basically perfect, which is disappointing because I had to do extra work to get this one to be the way that it is <laughs> ah! But like I said, I do realize where the the problem happened So it's something that can be avoided in the future uh, But yeah, so I ended up setting up the first washi sample and I basically wra uh, wrapped it Four times. That's one That's two three and four. So it's all like eight total for each side so that it's not super thick so it stays fairly thin but part of me almost feels like I want more than that. 
Okay, so I was able to decorate the top of this guy, add some washi tape here, also put some here for the sample. So I think that's a good amount because it's more than enough to decorate some pages for, you know, the month or whatever to test it out and see what you think of it. So I'll continue to do that for all of them. I'm pretty happy. Like both of them have the lines in them. You can see here on this one. You can see it here on this one. So they do have the overlap line. When I was doing my research and I was looking into some other existing washi tapes that other people create, I saw that they all have the lines too. And based off of how washi tape is made, it makes sense. So I don't think you can really avoid that. This is from the sticker sheet, like that looks good still. So it's not so bad in the grand scheme of things. But now I have to spend all of the time setting up the washi tape samples. Okay, so at this point, Point, I have confirmed how much of the samples that I needed to add to the washi tape samplers for my patrons so that they got enough to be able to actually use it for a couple of different things before they ran out. And now here I'm just actually adding them to the little sampler cards that I got created earlier in the month. And I'm really happy with how they turned out. I assembly lined it so I went with one washi tape first and then after I went back and added the second one and I just did it for my grimoire tier patrons. Actually, is that true? Because I know I gave some samples to my witch's hat tier as well. But yeah, I if you want all of the goodies, definitely do the grimoire tier. It's only 16 bucks a month, 17 if you're international and you get a, a lot. <laughs> you get your money's worth for sure. But then I also went in and made some post-it note samplers as well since I had gotten the post-it notes. And I also did that for the notepad samples as well. So I just uh, pulled off one or two sheets, I think each. And here you can see me wrapping up. I tried something a little bit fancy this month. I'm kind of all over the place when it comes to packaging the Patreon rewards. Sometimes I do some really fancy packaging. Sometimes I just pop it into the envelope. I'm trying to figure out what works best uh, because I want it to look cute, but sometimes I have issues making it fit into the envelope. And that's it for that. Okay, and that's it. We've reached the end of the video. I really do hope you enjoyed. I am trying to figure out ways to share some of the old footage while keeping you updated with some of the new stuff with like me popping in and being all like, hey, this is what's up. I do have the tendency to ramble, so I do apologize. I would love to hear what you guys think about everything though. So please be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. That also helps the channel. You can use this emoji to let me know that you made it this far. Uh, thumbs up and all of that good stuff if you wanna see more content like this and I will see you in the next one. Until then I hope you have a super fantastic rest of your week and yeah 